positive plus positive is going to always give you a positive number. Negative plus negative is always going to give you a negative number. Uh, positive plus negative or negative plus positive can give you positive or negative. And whatever you choose is going to depend upon the numbers that are actually given to you in your problem. So let's leave this here. And I won't erase it. And let's just work some problem. <clears throat> so let's say we have 2 plus negative 6. 2 plus negative 6. I've got a positive plus a negative, which is this case. And that's the case we just did. So I subtract these numbers. 6 minus 2 gives me 4. And the negative sign is what I use because this number is the bigger absolute value wise. Next problem. Negative 2 plus negative 6. So here I have a negative plus another negative number. That's the other case where I already borrowed something and I borrowed some more stuff. So the answer is negative 8 because 6 plus 2 gives me 8. Negative plus negative always gives me negative. 3. Negative 6 plus 2. Again here it's negative plus positive. So they're different signs. When they're different I subtract them. 6 minus 2 is 4 and the bigger number goes absolute value is where my sign comes from. Notice that number one and number three give me exactly the same answer. Two plus negative six is exactly the same thing as negative six plus two. Um, you know, this is no different than, uh, you know, three plus two gives me five, two plus three gives me five. You flip the numbers the way you, in which you order, you order the numbers doesn't matter at all for regular numbers, you know. One plus three is four. You know, three plus one is four. Flip them around, same thing. Same thing here, I've got two plus negative six, Negative 6 plus 2 should give me exactly the same answer, and it does. Let's say I have negative 6 plus negative 2. So, again, same thing. Negative plus negative is always going to give me negative. 6 plus 2 is always going to give me 8. Because when they're the same sign like that, I always add them. And again, it gives me the same answer because I just flipped the order. So let's do 14 plus 6. That's just regular addition. That's 20. And let's say positive plus positive is positive. Now let's say I have negative 14 plus 6. Negative plus positive, when they're different signs, I always subtract them. So 14 minus 6 is 8, and the sign comes from the bigger absolute value. Right? So it makes sense. If I owed somebody 14 peanuts, and somebody gave me 6 more, I'm still going to owe somebody some peanuts. I'm going to owe somebody 8 peanuts. Negative 14 plus negative 6. Negative plus negative is always going to give me negative. 14 plus 6 is going to be 20. So when they're the same sign, I always add the absolute values and I take the sign because it, it always keeps the sign of what I was adding there. 